Hi there and welcome back. Hello. Um, so I'm here today to do some more Tim Holtz things. Um, if you are joining in with the Facebook challenge, you'll already know that I've been using uh, my scraps up and I keep going back and revisiting my scraps and I'm trying to use some of these, um, what are they? Are they two by three? Um, do, do, do. Let's have a look. Are they three by? Yeah, three by three by four, and these ones which are three by three. So I've got a few projects. I wish I hadn't have um, moved that out the pile that it belongs to because I'm going to forget what I want to do with, with each pile. As you see, I have put some little notes on on some of them so I've got quite a few little bits to make so and I want to make four of each so I think I'll be doing um, a bit of pausing and stuff otherwise <coughs> we'll be here all day um, so these are just some strips what are left over and um, I like the size of them now these first ooh, I don't know if it's two projects I think definitely these first two projects was inspired by uh, Rita Jensen and I watched one of her um, Facebook challenges uh, for the October challenge and it sparked my imagination off. So these first two are very, very similar to what she did and then... <clears throat> Um, I just I just ran with it for a, for a little bit, um, so we'll see what see what we come up with. So these strips are just the size that that they was. I've not cut them down any or whatever. Um, if they'd have been wider, it would have been fine. If they'd have been a bit longer, it would have been fine. So. <laughs> These are like just over one by about seven, seven and a half. So I'm going to fold them in half like so. Which side do I want? I prefer that side. I prefer that side. Let's make sure they're all the right way. I prefer that side. And I like that side. So let me get my uh, journal and show you show you how they're going to go. So they're gonna go like so, and when you glue them down, I would put a tiny bit of glue there and then some on that end, and then it's going to be a pocket. Well, I suppose you'd call it a belly band, wouldn't you? But I don't like the word belly band, so I'm just going to say it's pocket. It's pocket. Um, so that, that is it. But we're going to put something... Am I putting something on the end here? I don't think I wrote that on my notes. Oh dear, I'm going off script. <laughs> oh dear, this is where it gets crazy and we've only just started. Um... Yes, I think I was putting something. What was I doing? I was going to put a hole. That's what I was going to do. So I'm going to put a hole um, and hopefully center it in the middle. I want to go quite near um, the fold. Right, so is that the wrong? No thought that was a smaller hole it looked a bit small mind you i've got the wrong glasses i was gonna say i've got the wrong eyes on i've got my wrong eyes on today um so yeah i probably need to grab my uh proper glasses because i now i've said it i can feel that i'm actually straining my eyes that's bizarre isn't it that it did actually look smaller um which made me think it was a smaller hole and I've got no excuse for not having my glasses on because I've now got this fabulous chain. And it is fabulous. I love it. Um, 
In fact, I will put it on my um, Amazon favourites. Oh, that's loads better. Wow. Oh, my eyes feel like they've woken up. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to put um, an eyelet in. I'm not sticking it back. Oh, my magnets. <laughs> um, I thought I'll put them there because um, they'll stay there, won't they? I don't think they'll they'll run off. So let's um, do this. Oh, I have ordered um, one of these nobbles. If you was with me um, and I said that my the knobble seems to have come back now oh anyway i've ordered a replacement one so um at least then i will have one for when my knobble um just just wants to disappear on me so it must have just popped back into into place <coughs> so oh i've gone extremely hot it's quite um a chilly day here but I've just noticed that the sun has just started to, to come out. We have been having still um, some quite warm days. And I think the heating had kicked in because it, you know, was cold through the night and first thing this morning. Um, I'm guessing that's probably just about turned itself off um, now. So we've got that still hot from having the heating on. And I think it's just generally ooh, warmed, warmed up. So that's that. Okay, so let's pop that there. Let's put a lid. Lid. Haha, <laughs> it's here. That's tricking me. Um, where's my page again? <laughs> So they will be used as a page tab as well as um, a pocket. So I'd put it right to the edge and then obviously you can have a dangle on there or uh, whatever. And I've got a few little things out. So I've got these little, um, they, they're like jewellery uh, price tags and I've just... Um, well, use the patty pockets and paint it over them to make them a bit grungy. And then I've just stamped them. I think they're probably with the, with the Tim Holtz uh, stamps. So that's one. And then I'd got some... <laughs> the time when I did try embossing, I've only tried it once. It is on my list of I must try it again. But um, it was a disaster. And if you watched it, I'm sure you're still, still laughing about it. <laughs> oh dear if you didn't see it um it was my first time i was a nervous wreck um i don't know why but it's one of those things i think oh, it could go really wrong so that's um that kind of thing so that's the that's the first uh one really quick and quick and easy and obviously not only have you got you know a pocket this side you've got one the other side too and it's nice, um, a bit of page page decoration. Obviously, I could put something um, over it, but I'm just liking liking the paper. So they're made. Um, where shall I put them? Put them over here. Now this is very similar. It's it's obviously you know the same. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it similar because it, it's the same. It's just with <laughs> different things. So these are actually uh, die cut um, ones and uh, Violet sent me these ones. But obviously if I didn't have these, again, I would be probably using, you know, the scraps of uh, my craft card or I would get an A4 and just, um, you know, cut it um, into strips. But uh, because these are single ones... If I'd have done it with a pad, obviously I'd have done it the same way and just folded it over. But I'm going to join these together like like so. So, I shall ink, ink, ink. Shall I carry on with my story while I'm inking, inking, inking? Um, yeah, so I was all, I'd wrote the steps down because I felt as if there was a million steps. I'm guessing if you, um, you know, do embossing and that you just think oh it's it's just it's just easy but um <laughs> when you're learning something and, and you've watched a million videos and um 
I like to write it, it down in steps because I know that when it comes to it, I'm just going to miss miss something something out. I just seem to have a million steps. So I was really, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> and then I squeezed, I've got one of the, the Dobber um, embossing ink things. Uh, the Ranger ones. And the top flew off. All my <laughs> embossing <coughs> liquid stuff was all over the place. Um, yeah, so it wasn't a great experience <laughs> and um, it, it put me off because I was obviously nervous enough um, and then it put me off. But I really do want to uh, be embossing. Um, I want to be an embosser because I think they make great uh, embellishments and dangles um, and and I've, I've not tried that where you do it with a stamp um and then emboss boss over it so yeah i must i must have another have another guy so i've inked all around them i'm using the walnut stain and i think i'm just going to get my text um stamp which is the tim holtz ledger um text stamp oh, which is a double stamp oh, and i just can't get it there we go and I'm going to use the stays on um, timber brown and I'm just going to stamp all over them so I'll see you in a tick okay I've stamped uh, them all so I'm just going to join them together um, I am just going to keep them like this I'm not going to put any decoration on um, if I want to when, when I use them then I will but I'm thinking if I'm using a lot of Tim Holtz paper, I'm going to want some quite plainish um, things to mix in. And I think um, using craft card um, is a good is a good way to, you know, balance balance some of the um, the patterns and stuff out. So that's the plan. So I'm just going to. do that now i've used the wax um thread because i did think i might put a bead or two in because obviously it's going to be at the side of the page so this is gonna gonna hang out so um yeah i thought if i keep it long i've then got the option uh, to put some some beads in if if i want If not, I was thinking of just tying them in in bows because I think that would look uh, quite cute. See, and again, I think it would balance um, balance it out a bit from, you know, being quite um, more more masculine um, looking. So I think some cutesy bows on the side would be very very nice. So just do these. Um, because I've um, <clears throat> I've said uh, you know lots of times, but if if you've not um, heard me or it's the first video you've caught, I spent over a year just making ephemera, so um, I've not got that much experience doing actual journals. So I've I've started doing um, oh and then i got addicted addicted and it is an addiction to the wonderful file folders um and i did those for a long time too um so actual journals i've i've not got that much experience at all um and i have been making some envelope journals just lately so that's those ones okay so again shall we just have a look let's have a look and if I need them shorter, I can obviously um, cut those off as I as I use them. So that would go like so. I'd probably have it halfway. I do think they'd be probably nice as as bows. And I don't know what the end is, but anyway. And um, so again, I would stick it, you know, there and there, and then I've have that. So that is those. So get rid of this string 
Okay, so the next ones I've got, I've got, <laughs> I've got, uh, sorry, I've got um, two going that away. So, you know, they're on a sheet, so I've gone that way. And I've made sure that they're patterns that there's just something plain on the back. So it's, um, you know, I couldn't obviously have done it that way because it would have been upside down. So I've, I've chose the, the ones that are the right way. Um, so that's those two. And then two side ones. And these are going to be um, like tags. So all I'm going to do while I sit and waffle is I'm just going to fold them down, uh, trim them off on the trimmer just to straighten them up and um, and then we'll do the next part. So yes, as I've been doing um, the envelope journals, um, you know, like I say, I'm fine, I've got lots of ephemera um, and all the rest of it, but what I have noticed is... Um, I need to work more on uh, like page decoration um, and and the little bits bits and bobs again what are mainly for page uh, decoration so um, you'll probably see a lot more of, of those kinds of, of things and um, you know like page inserts and just to give that more more interest um, so, yes, that's what I have noticed so far. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, processes, in, isn't there, in, in journal making. It's not, you know, it's not just about binding some papers together or making a load of ephemera. It's, it's everything. Um, and I like to spend a lot of time just doing like one process of something <clears throat> so um that part sinks in so yeah i mean i'm obviously still going to make a family because i need a family for um journals and stuff but um yeah i do need to make sure that i'm um kind of like developing in in journal page ideas and, and more like page page decoration so that's that's where I'm where I'm at so yeah I'm just trimming these down just to make them neater I if you don't have the Tim Holtz paper obviously you know these strips are like so and um, I'm sure you've got some strips or they can be made with uh, book pages and that's a good way for building your stash up. Just do them in, you know, your textbook pages. And then then you've got stuff and you can just decorate them as as you do your journal to, you know, whatever, whatever you're doing. So I'm going to cut these like tags. And I'm not very good at um, matching them up. I do have a card somewhere with the edges cut out, but I've not seen it for a while. So I'm just going to chop down like so. I just nip it. Don't, you know, press press on to the middle at all. It's just meeting, meeting those two, two edges. Oh, they look so cute. So I'm going to do the same with these ones, even though these are the, the side ones. That one. I can say they just make nice little dumpy, dumpy tags, which is probably what I will do with with some of the uh, ones what are left over. Because to get some of these uh, parts, you know, I had to cut some some up, and they've ended up being single uh, ones. So again, I'm just gonna go go all around the edges like so. Not doing a lot of decorating um, because um, some things I will, some things I won't because then it, it gives you the option of, you know, if something's getting too bulky and you're decorating and everything's really bulky, then you've got nothing to put in. So I thought if I leave some things 
you know quite plain then you've got the option to leave them plain or to to decorate them as needed and I wouldn't particularly do anything to these front ones um and you know they're gonna these are gonna be put on the the plainer pages so um yeah I think they're they're nice within within themselves they are nice obviously because we all love it well majority of people love it lots of people love it right so I've not done the backs have I <laughs> Get round here. And if I don't ink them now, um, yeah, it, it, they don't seem to get inked. So, uh, and it's not like I want the option of oh, I might want it uninked. I'm not going to want it uninked. So, I might as well do it now. So that's that. Um, again, I'm sure you can see see where I'm going uh, with these so this one's a top one. Oh no yeah it is. it's a top one so this will go go over page and I think I'm gonna lift it up slightly am I and have uh, a hole there am I what's that gonna look like Mm, maybe I don't know because it does look like a tab doesn't it so mm, I, I'm in a quandary if to put a hole and have some um maybe the the black um wax thread just coming up but um what's that gonna going to look like See, on the side, I always think it's it's a bit different. You know what? I'm just doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. So, I really do need it in, in that top part, but I need it, you know, quite, quite high up because I'm only going to want that top part sticking out. So, once it's stuck, stuck down... Oh my goodness me, they all look the same. So once that's stuck down, I'm going to probably do it at the edge and I would probably glue down there and there and there but leave that part um, open so you could have a thing in. Now... I think that would be fine. I was just thinking, oh no, that's going to be really awkward because obviously we're we're into the spine. But I don't think it's going to be. I don't think I'd want it in the middle and have something either side. I don't like. I'm not liking that. So yeah, that's what I would do. So that's what we're going to do with those. Now the side ones. I think I would definitely do them them flush and t -t -t again i would stick them down down the same and have them like so because I, I think that's gonna look weird that's gonna look weird so that's that's the way i would use them um so the side ones i don't need to put anything on those ones i do so let's i should be able to feel that crease that i made to to do the um you know the cutting cutting the edges so that's that i did do that with the small one okay and uh, this one okay um am i going to do it with an eyelet I might because that would keep that that part together wouldn't it let's think about this if I glued now this top part together then that would be together and I would be able to go like that 
yes that's what i'm going to do okay so let's just get a little bit of glue glue hoo hoo I think I'm still going to actually put a thing in there. Um, I'll have a look at that in a, in a tick. I've not used my glue for, I think, two days. Um, I'm filming this on a Saturday. So I was at work yesterday on the Friday. And on the Thursday, I spent uh, the day prepping uh, for, this, for this video. So, yeah, I didn't use my, my glue. So we don't need loads on, it's only uh, to catch it. And possibly to remind me uh, what what I've made this piece for. Because if I see it, I might think, oh, that's a tag. Um, but then it will remind me, hopefully. So let's put a... I think I'm going to have to find somewhere else for those magnets to go. Because every time I pick them up, um, it, they like dance to the bottom. They are dancing magnets. Oh, no. Right, I'm doing it the wrong way. No, I'm not doing it the wrong way. Oh, dear me. So, let's <coughs> do that. There's that one. Yep. And do this one. Don't leave your finger in as you're putting it down. That that is a top a top tip. Definitely a top tip. So I'll just cut. I'm gonna cut far because, like I say, I'm going to put some in the other two. I must buy myself some f fabric scissors that I only use for fabric. Right, so I'll pop those in. Like so. And like so. So I'm going to pause and I'll do the other two because we... We don't need to see that again, do we? Me putting it upside down and <laughs> all the rest of it. So that's those two. So again, page decoration and then um, I need to think. Okay, I remember. I remember now. Um, so I've just got one of the uh, squares and I am just going to cut that down the middle like so. Oh my goodness me. That has never, ever been straight. Ever, ever. Now I'm going to attempt to do it by hand. Yeah. Okay, and I'm just going to pinch them in the middle and shall I get my tiny teeny one out? And I'm just going to put oof, a little divot in. Oh, that was quite nice for those. Hmm. I thought it was going to be ridiculously too small. Right, this side I'm going to have uh, the florally side. And this is going to go at the bottom of this one. So it's going to be a tiny pocket. And obviously tiny things are going to go in there. And they're just going to be, you know, contained in, in that back part. Because we don't want them obviously hanging hanging over the, the edge. So I'm going to do, do it that way. So I'm just going to, oh, it's telling you, stay in. It's only a tiny, tiny pocket. You need every little bit of, so yeah, just ticket or little cigarette card or something, something like so. So that's going to go at the back of that one. And for some reason, it's, um, it's longer. 
Oh yes, because I I obviously straightened these tacks up, didn't I? That will be that will be why. So that's that one. There we go. So that's that's completed. I wouldn't want to decorate that any any more. So um, and this one is going to go that way. So we'll have a pocket at the side and then we've got a little pocket at the back. So we'll have a look at that over over the page. Get on straight. Yeah. That's too wide too, of course. Let's just put that bit back on. Right, I feel like I've gone. Uh, quite far from the table I shall re re um, sit myself in a second so if we had it over here we'd obviously have a nice decoration it would be a false um, <coughs> file folder top and then we would have a tuck there we would turn it ho over. We would turn it over, <laughs> and we would have one there, and we'd have a little pocket there. So over we go. Right, I'm going to reposition myself because I'm I'm a bit sloppy in my chair. Okay, so because these would go in that way. Okay, I obviously can't glue this top bit together, and I also can't put. Um, a thing in there because I wouldn't be able to um, slide it over okay so what I'm going to do is put one of the uh, card ones on so I've got two hexagony ones and two randy ones So I'll get, get those on. So, turn it over. That's that one. This one. Okay, and I'm going to put a string in each side because obviously one one will be on one side of the page and one will be on the other side. A little bit fiddly. Okay, so that's one side and the other side. So I will do both of those. Okay, I've put the um, wax thread in both sides and then I've got one of these slotted pockets. If you don't have one of these, obviously you can just put um, a little pocket on the back like we did the other two but I just thought I'd do this just just for some variation now the bigger slot fits exactly on the on the top which for this project um you know that wasn't that wasn't no good because I couldn't then put um a hole in because it would have been um half on there and half half not so these small ones was was just the right job and then obviously this can have some little tickets in and bits did ink all around it i'll do that um off off camera you can keep the top one not glued <laughs> so you can use that as as um you know like a pocket slot but um i think you would probably have to do it on a thicker card this is probably oh, i don't know it's 
don't really know, but I don't, it's not 200, I wouldn't say. And I don't really want anything any higher anyway. So that is that. Need to see if I can. Oh. Sometimes you think, you think that you've got it. Oh, and then you haven't. Whew. Right, I'm wondering if any of these little snippets... No, that's probably too big, but I really like that. I might stick that there anyway. Because I could have it going off, because it's still going to be, you know, on, on the page and the tuck's going to be at the side. I think it does need um, <clears throat> just a, a bit of script. So that's, um, oh my goodness me, hey, what, what am I doing? That's gonna stay, oh no, it's coming off. I'm gonna say I thought it would stay uh, straight, straight away. Let me just get that piece of paper back out there out the bin just save me getting um, my mat out I didn't bother with my mat because I knew that I wasn't doing a lot of like stamping and stuff I don't mind glue getting on the table because um, I wipe my table down after uh, I've got alcohol wipes and I've said it before I I prefer crafting on on this um, I don't feel very creative when I uh, craft on on a mat um, I guess it's just personal, personal preference. I think it would be better to one. Oh, mind you. No, I'm going to stick that in the middle. And like I say, it can hang, hang over anyway. I've only got one of the. Oh, I might have another one in there. Hold on. So I'm not going to put any glue at the bottom. Want it? What's that? Oh, lovely. So that's one of them. Oh, I've got another sideways one. That's a ticket. No, that's going to be uh, too too low. So let's um, let's get something out of the out of the tin. I'd probably be good. If I can find a, a circle, I do think the circles um, look good. Yeah, that's just a brown circle, nothing, nothing on it. I don't know how that's got got in there, but it has. <laughs> it's there. Oh. I think, Oh, oh, come on. I've got a circle and it's the same one. <laughs> so maybe something like that. Do I want something like bigger on the back? Yeah. Okay. So we shall do that. Right, that one doesn't want ink in because um it's already inked. So I'm gonna place up to the side a little bit then this one just want a, a dab I'll put that one on next so let's just put that together so in that case there. Just bring that over to the side a little bit more. That's that. Okay. And then where do we want the circle one? There. 
that. No, I think I want it that. Okay, so that's that's those two finished. So they will go on like so, and I will glue. I don't know something there just to keep that um, open. So that's those. Right, what have we got left now? Okay, the next one is with the uh, squares. So three by three squares, and these are going sideways. So that would make it that you wanted uh, a six by three um, piece if you, you know, for the same size. But obviously these can be done with with different sizes. It's just that I was trying to think of, of ways how to um, use, use these squares up. So I'm going to fold them all, I'm going to trim around them all and I'm going to ink all around them. I've already inked around the tabs and I've just put a little bit of script on them. So this one is going to be um, down the side and I'm thinking either towards the bottom or the middle and I would keep this part open for... Uh, a pocket okay so that is that so obviously you've got one each each side again and I'm going to put well I'm hoping because I've not put these against them to look what it yeah that would look fine and then you would have obviously have that um, over the edge okay so I'm thinking if I glued, if that was all glued down, yeah, I'll be able to open that enough to, to slot it, slot it on. So I'm going to sit and do that. Um, And then you'd still still be able to open it enough to to get it over your your page. Okay, <clears throat> that's them all stuck down. So we've got um, a picture on you know the front or the back of them, and these are the the plainer ones. And I'd got a couple of uh, tickets left from previous projects, so I thought they would be okay to just slip in. Um, and then we've got a bit of a, well, it's decoration and it's a bit of a tuck. So I've got two that way. I've got one that way and I haven't got one for that one. So I'm going to stick those on. In fact, I might use, not that one, but yeah, I might just use something um, like that. Because I've not really got a... I mean, I've got some kind of tickety things. And maybe I could cut that out. No, because I want to put thread in those. Um, ah, I've got a circle of the of the bird one. Because then, yeah. So I think I'll do do that. So I'll just stick those down, and that'll be be those done. Okay, so that's those, and then these ones are the ones that are going that way. So I'm going to do it exactly the same, just put a tab on and put a bit of something uh, at the back, what can be used as a tuck. So I'm going to do those off, off camera because, like I said, you know, it's only doing the same, um, just that this is going to go over the top um, and, and add the tab. Uh, do I want a tab at the top? Mm, see, it depends. Yeah, but I think I might use the smaller ones. Oh, I don't know. You know what? I might put a hole there and have some... No, no. Because I don't know what it is about things at the at the top. Like that looks fine. Mm. 
I don't know if on this one I would like glue this part and have it as, as an actual just as a side um you know like like so so glue it more that way I think that's what I would do do I want a tab at the top I mean it's it will look fine on there it's yeah I'm gonna do it so that's what I'm going to do uh, with those ones so thank you for joining me I will probably uh, be back later and um, do do some more uh, Tim Holtz projects because I'm I'm keen to get lots of you know my small uh, pieces of um, either embellishments or a ephemera a <laughs> ephemera made um, so before I need to you know kind of get on with winter 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 projects okay then thanks for joining me and i shall see you later bye